no mistake. We will rip you from the history books. Every last trace of you gone. You will know loss. We will be the architects of your pain. We will build monuments to your destruction. The whole world will bear witness to this. Our ascension. We will blot out your skies. We will bury you in darkness. Know this and know us. We are your enemy. We are the Settlement Defense Front. Wow, so there you have it guys, that is the first official video for Infinite Warfare, the new Call of Duty that's going to be released. Um, that is the first leaked, I'm pretty sure it was leaked, um, first leaked video that has been released about the game so far to date. So the first thing I'd like to sort of make a little point on is if any of you have been playing Black Ops 3 and you have been on Nuketown, I think that you might have noticed that um, at the end of the game when the nuke uh, comes through and ends ends the game and also demolishes Nuketown, that um, there's a spaceship now that's been edited in in one of the new recent updates that actually flies over just beforehand. And that is obviously a little easter egg um, referencing the new Infinite Warfare. So, and as you've seen in that trailer with the first little flicker screens that they have, the first thing that you saw was the um, ending of Nuketown. So I don't know where they're going with that, um, Infinity Ward and Treyarch are different creators of the Call of Duty, so it was interesting to have that in there, whether they're referencing to the, the in the game you might have Nuketown in there and they might end it, you might actually find out what the spaceship's doing there in Black Ops 3. So whether they go back and play that, I'm not really sure. It's too early to tell what's going on with that. But continuing on the line of flicker screens, the second flicker screen you see is a skull. Now, the last Call of Duty that Infinity Ward made was Call of Duty, or was actually Advanced Warfare, but before that was Ghost, and um, the main symbol for the Ghost was that big skull. So whether they're referencing it to be a bit of a cross between Ghost and maybe a Modern Warfare, whereas without having all the boost jumping, all the real advanced stuff. Um, that could be what they're trying to drop the little hint with there. Um, another major thing I found, that in the top right hand corner along the Call of Duty uh, Ghost and Advanced Warfare lines, um, Modern Warfare lines, sorry, um, in the top right hand corner of the screen the whole time there's that symbol in the background, the yellow glowing one, and I'm... I think it's a the OP4 from Modern Warfare 2, it's like might be a modern version of that or a very rough design of that, whether that's going to reference your sides or a team that might be in it, you might cross over with Modern Warfares, I'm not sure, but I found that quite interesting to be a major part of the video, it was displayed completely throughout the video, which may give it some importance to the game. Um, so with going on the emblem line, we have also that new symbol that is on the person's chest and happens in a couple of flicker screens. Now from what I can gather that's written on his chest, it's SDF. So I'm going to pick that to be one of the sides that you might play in the online. That might be one of your teams. And I'm also going to pick that to be the main campaign side that you play through. So that's one little thing to sort of think about. That could be who you're playing for and who you could be playing against in the new Infinite Warfare. Um, another thing I'd like to touch up on is um, how there is the background of the ship. So how the background looks like a ship. In the video, he's not in an office. In previous Call of Duties, we've seen him in suits and in speeches and all that sort of stuff, but he looks in a dark area. He looks like to be under something, like he's inside a ship or something like that. So where I'm going with that is I think that that is the main headquarters of the base of operations that you'll work out of. And I also think that that will be one of the online maps, online multiplayer maps. Um, being that it was um, leaked into Black Ops 3, I think that'll be, no, no, maybe like a, 
one of the major maps, a short-based, fast action map that they'll choose to um, have feature quite a fair bit as they do in the Call of Duty saga. So yeah, I hope that brought you a little bit more information to the video. If you had not seen the video at all, I hope that give you an idea of what you're sort of looking for. Um, one last thing that um, I just noticed before was on the actual uh, cover art of the game, their character there is holding a helmet in, um, in one of his hands, and so I'm guessing it will be based futuristically, So and it will be based in space. Now, everyone's going in space, there's going to be flying and like everyone's going to be just floating around shooting at each other. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be like more of the spaceship. You're going to be fighting on the spaceship. You're going to have upper and lower floors of the spaceship and you're going to be working around that. I don't think they'll have the boost jumping or anything like that. It is too early to tell, but I just don't think they'll bring that back. And also on that front cover art, that big blurry thing in the background, if you have a decent look at it and after I've told you about it, you can actually sort of tell that it kind of does look like another ship. Whether that be something to do with the campaign or whether that be a kill streak for online um, is not definite yet, but it's definitely going to play some part in the game and it is definitely a spaceship. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video guys. Um, Give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. Stay tuned for more and more information as the game comes out and is uh, getting closer to its release date. So cheers.